Royal Ascot commences this week with unrestricted crowds returning to the stands for Britain's most popular race meeting. It may be a prestigious horse race, but it's also considered one of the biggest fashion events in the calendar, welcoming over 300,000 visitors all dressed up in their finest clothes and hats. We're here at Oliver Brown, one of London's leading tailors and formal wear providers for the Royal Ascot. And I've got a chance to speak to the founder, Christian Robson, who's going to take me through some of the fashion protocols for the event and also let me try on one of their legendary suits. So let's head on inside. So I would describe Royal Ascot Week as the biggest part of our year. And if you're a racing man, it's the best racing in the world. And being the Jubilee year, without question, the best year ever. It's been such a defining feat because of the dress codes that you have to wear. Uh, and in the royal enclosure you have to wear morning coats, top hats and trousers which is triple check and a waistcoat which is single or double breasted and you never wear that apart from at a wedding or a garden party it's a very English thing to wear you only wear it racing and the nicest thing you can wear that we sell we've got the biggest collection in the world is a silk top hat, antique silk top hat which haven't been made for 80 years we have over a thousand antique silk ones we've been very lucky to have the licensee for Royal Ascot for off and on for the last 15 years. So we're recognised as the top hat specialists. We've had lots of, uh, lots of celebrities. We've had Take That, we've had Anton Deck. Yeah, lots and lots. Fashion has become so much of a feature. It's important to dress up for Ascot because you have a dress code, which you have to stick to. The racing is the paramount feature of the whole event. So it has the best horses from around the world that come and compete and it's just so exciting to see. So Christian, can I try on one of these suits? Definitely, let's put you in one of these beautiful suits and get you ready. Christian, I think I'm suited and booted, ready for Royal Ascot. Can you talk me through what I'm wearing? Yep, so you're wearing an antique silk top hat that's about 125 years old. You're wearing a shirt and lovely tie, racing tie, actually one that we designed with bottles, top hats and race horses on it, which is fun. And you're wearing a dove grey waistcoat, which is very classic to wear at weddings and Ascot. And trousers, which is triple check. Plain socks and slip-on shoes. You need a nice colourful handkerchief in there and you're good to go. Can you take me through sort of some of the do's and don'ts when it comes to fashion at Royal Ascot? Yeah, so the do's and don'ts for Royal Ascot is you can't go in a different colour outfit of this. You can now, for the first year and two years, wear a navy morning coat. But that means, so you can wear any colour waistcoat, you can wear stripe or check trousers, you can't deviate from that. Slip on shoes, uh, can have a tassel, be a loafer, and the top hat has to be black or grey. For something like this, for this full suited and booted outfit, how much in, in, in a region would you be spending? Uh, the whole outfit without the top hat's about £800. Well, I think I'm probably ready for the races. Christian, thank you very much. I'm you just are. going to go for a walk now. Good. Out there. Thank, thank you. you. Well, while I may not have made it out the door with that suit on in the end, there will be plenty of other flamboyant onlookers at Royal Ascot this week. I'll try my luck again next year.